So if you've been following this channel for any period of time, you know that one of my personal missions in life is tracking down the ultimate wallet. And this is kind of a funny follow-up video if you consider what the last video was, which was this idea of this one card to replace all your cards. Well, for most of us, we don't live in that reality yet, so it got me thinking about wallets in general and how so many people are carrying around these giant ones and then you got a lot of other people who prefer the slim variants. There's a lot of stuff happening in the world of wallets that you just might not be familiar with. So in front of me today, I've got five, six, seven different wallets. Some of the coolest wallets that I could find online. I'm gonna hopefully land on what I think is the coolest, best overall, best value so that you can swap out that ugly, traditional, fat wallet for something that's a little bit cooler. Each one of these has some sort of unique feature. First off, Vault Skin London. I have the prices over here. This one is 25 bucks, making it the most affordable wallet we're gonna look at today. 25, it comes in a few different colors. Very slim, okay? Card in here, thank you. Slim RFID, stylish and professional, top grain leather. So you have a single pouch on the front here. You insert that into that section there. Now you wanna get access to it. So you pull this little strap and boom, you're ready to go. Kaboom, pops up, ready to go. The idea with this strap is probably to put your most commonly used card in that section there. Your credit card in there, ID over here. So therefore this little strap just is for the main card. Listen to that. And it happens to be the cheapest too, so there's gotta be some serious points for that. Okay, I like this. For one dollar more, you could get this Distill Union wallet. Now, this is called the Wally Micro, by the way. This is reversible, so it has two sides. You can pick your color. It's got this elastic band, absolutely tiny. Gray on the outside, red on the inside. You pack it full of cards, and then you pull that and they come out. Now, this one is not spring-loaded. I don't think I'm a fan of this one, to be honest. It squirms around towards the bottom where you're holding it, not as fluid as the vault skin is. So you can flip this over, move the strap, and then have the red leather on the outside. That's just way more satisfying. You have been defeated, Wally Micro. Very nice. Now, the other product from Distill Union in this gray box here is the Wally sleeve. You have a quick access sleeve on the back and now they said I can have six in here. That's five right there, let's see. Oof. I think I'd probably do like two cards in here. This is probably still the fastest, just pulling it out of the sleeve here. That's kind of nice with two. It's probably okay with three. This dangly thing bugs me though, compared to this elastic version. All right, you're done too. This was 34 bucks. So this is even more money than the vault skin, and I'm still keeping the vault skin at the top of the food chain for now. Let's switch over to these wallets that can hold keys. This in one pocket, your phone in the other pocket, you might be golden, so I like that. It's not quite the best looking thing. You can put a lot of cards in there. It starts to get a little bit fat, all right? I really like what's happening here, and it does have an advantage over this one. Again, this is the key clip from LFD. This one is on Kickstarter right now. It starts at 45 bucks. Then this one here, this this is expensive. This thing is a hundred bucks. We're in a different realm here. It's aluminum. You might like that. It's kind of a cool look. It's obviously very durable. There's not a key installed, but it would work exactly the same way as this bottle opener slash screwdriver. These are simple Phillips screws. You remove those, attach your keys, and they just kind of slide out like this. Cards, on the other hand, they slide in here. The only problem with this is very heavy and of course expensive. If the idea of putting your keys and wallet together as one is what you wanna do with a slightly lighter package and with the leather, if it is in your pocket bumping into other things, it's not really gonna nick them up. I'm sticking with this one, right? Plus these are expensive. I wanna keep this one kind of as an honorable mention. It's exciting the idea of no more keychain. I like that. Now the Ridge wallet, this is made out of carbon fiber, which makes it special. It also comes with a really cool screwdriver to adjust it. If you don't need the carbon fiber, it's gonna be less expensive. It starts around 45 bucks. This one's a hundred bucks. So once again, premium wallet territory. So the method here is to push them up part way out like this. And then when you pinch the bottom, they fan out so you can reach into the center, pull one out if you want. You know what, it's not terrible. I don't know though, I don't think I'm sold on this idea. It's just a lot of weight to be carrying around without a huge upside over just a traditional sleeve that you could pull your card out of. No thank you, I can't go this route. There's no real slick, one-touch way of getting access to all the cards. This is the real challenger. The question is, can the pilot from Andar displace it as the champion here? Oh, look at that, a nice little bag. Ooh, 
we have a challenge that so satisfying. What they did here is kind of what I wanted. Not strap a whole wallet around the outside of it, making it fatter, but instead just cover what you have in leather to make it more soft touch. They put a single slot on the outside and then a little strap there to slide some cash under. So it might be the ultimate solution. This thing costs 37 bucks as well. That's a pretty good deal. So no hesitation, I can put them all in at once and watch what happens when I hit the switch. Check this out. Boom, see how they're fanned out? You can see them all. This card here, boom. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you're from, that's fast. Boom, and you feel like a, like a secret agent. It's just such a satisfying thing. That's the front card. There, that's the back card. The most frequently used cards, you'll either keep them at the back or at the front. This wallet is hard to beat. That's another reason to have that. If your card has the tap function, keep it in the outside pouch and boom, you're tapping. If I say it's a tie, am I cheating? It's $12 more, but there's a wow factor. It's just, it's not quite as special as this moment right here. You're not even gonna notice this thing in your pocket. It's much more lightweight than this one. I'll probably carry this one, to be honest. It's the best of all of it. I say spend the 37, the Pilot. It might be the greatest, coolest wallet on the planet. You probably noticed, Lou, what's up with the Amazon gift cards in this video? 10 bucks a piece, so here you go. Are you ready? I'll drop a link in the description to save you some time to redeem these codes in three, two, one, kaboom, kaboom. Three, four, five. What are you doing? You're pausing, you're zooming in. All the links to everything I talked about are down in the description as usual. I hope you found this useful. If so, tell a friend. Shout out Unbox Therapy. I know everybody's looking for a cool wallet, so send them this video. Thank you very much for watching. Later.